Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Gaming with Mitchell, here with a video of Five Nights at Freddy's. So, um, I'm playing this on phone. And yeah, hope it'll be easy. And guys, I'm, I'm recording this at night time, so it'll be more scary. Let's go. Family Pizzeria looking for a security guard to work at the night shift, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Okay. So I have to survive till 6 a.m. Night one. Wait. Where's the phone? We're gonna listen to this. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, mm -hmm. I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. So, let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's okay. see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place where supposed kids to watch these guys, to life, huh? Where fantasy and fun come to life. Bet. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death have occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night. But what do you mean? No. Quirky. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free-roaming mode at night. Uh, okay. Something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah, it's amazing that the human body can live without the front. Now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. If they now, see since me. that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, They'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth pop out the front of the mask here. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first they should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Okay. Conserve power. Alright, good night. Wait a minute, if I'm supposed to conserve power, what is this usage? Well, back to what I was saying. If there's an endoskeleton, I mean, if they think of me as an endoskeleton, why not just change their programming system? Wait a minute. Has Freddy's mouth always been open? I'm not sure. I don't want to keep an eye on them, but at the same time, I have 66 power left. I want to conserve that. So... Um, it's probably the fan using my power, but I can't turn it off. Whoa! Mm hmm. 
Bro, I thought this was night one. Come on. Why is he moving? I thought night one was gonna be easy. Bro. I swear I heard walking. Bro. I really want to see the kitchen. So, uh, I got a little post over there. Celebrate. We got kids drawings, I think. Yeah. What is the purple thing? No, no, no. Bro, stay back. Bro, stay back. Bro, I feel like he's getting a step closer. Bro, this is freaking scary. <laughs> I feel like he's getting a step closer. I just want to spam this light. Bonnie, I see you. You can't mess with me. I'm gonna beat this night. You can't mess with me. I've almost already beat it. I need two hours left. You guys hear that? Bro, oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh. He's in there. Oh, that scared me, bro. I thought I saw someone standing there. Bro, what is Chica doing in the freaking... In the freaking... Uh... Kitchen. Pizza? Bro, chill. Bro, I'm scared. Bro, bro, bro. Mm -hmm. Is he gone? Mm -hmm. Bro, where's Chica? Oh! <laughs> we beat the freaking game! Bro, Bonnie stayed at her door for like freaking ever. Oh. Well, guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. And don't forget to like for a part two. Bye. Well.
Let's hear this phone call, f actually. Yeah, let's hear the phone call first. I want to hear the phone call. That's the end of the video, guys. Make sure to like for part two and subscribe. Goodbye.